Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to make the last video now. It's a beautiful sunny day outside, so why not make the last one? Um, which will be about how I usually finish a project, uh, share the end of the process with you guys. Um, and the way I go about it is basically um, going over the things that I did right and going over on the things that I did wrong. So that way I can, you know, leave out the wrong things from the from the next project and focus on what I did right and do that again. So I keep the good results and get rid of the bad ones. So um, as an example, again, let's uh, um, let's review what I did here. Uh, Self-reflect. That's really important, I think, uh, in order for anybody to get better. I think it's crucial to, you know, re self-reflect sometimes and uh, look at your own workflow and your own self as uh, as objectively as possible without ego. So let's uh, let's try and do that here. So what I did right with this project, I think, was uh, I didn't rush it. Uh, Mm, I tend to have uh, like a pattern uh, which is hard for me to break that I publish stuff too early. Uh, I can always go another another round with it. Uh, and of course, it's always true, but there are some times when that round would benefit uh, the project greatly and would have been a mistake to leave it out. So um, sometimes I make that mistake. Uh, mistake. Some of my proje projects, I definitely feel that I could have done uh, much more with that uh, and not it wouldn't have required too much time so but this time around I did this one right uh, and I took my time went over the whole model again textured everything and there was a critical point in the project when I really wanted to just get it over with and publish it uh, and move on to the next one but uh, and at that point there were no music video which you can see here on the screen. Um, there were no music video in the making, but one day I went into like to the studio and I was like, hmm, maybe I should do a music video with this one. And as I did the uh, you know initial cuts and how the camera will move through the scene, I felt the uh, felt the fire burning up again, and I felt another wave of inspiration, and I rode rode that wave. Uh, and make, made another pass on the texture and made an animation and started learning more about animation for the facial stuff which you can see in the video and also you know painted the whole thing again and made a made a complete environment and that was something that pulled the project uh, together for me and that was the crucial moment when I usually then I, that I could have published the thing and that would have been a mistake, but I just stick with it for a little more and mind the last remaining bits of inspiration and created the music video, which, which is, I think, the best part of the project. I uh, really enjoyed doing that. So I did that one right. Um, I took my time with this one and, and really, really pushed myself and discovered new things. That's something that I will bring on to the next project, not not rushing things. So that was something I did right. And what I did wrong, I think, you know, that, that would have been uh, definitely a wrong moment uh, to, pu to publish it. So I'm glad I avoided that. But the main thing I did wrong was I think I overworked. A bit I worked too much on this project uh, on the weekends also and uh, that's something I also tend to do work too much so that's something I really need to uh, keep back a little bit because I run out of juice uh, and that can sometimes lead to that like dump uh, of energy and that's when you're like okay I have no more energy to work on the project I'm just gonna publish it but if I would have uh, managed my time better and <clears throat> paid attention more to 
how much energy I ha and how much enthusiasm I have towards the project, I could have uh, I could have maybe prevented the dump. So in the next project, sorry, I will definitely try and uh, mm, basically work less and just basically um, mm, focus more when I'm working. So being more mindful in the working hours and not just mindlessly going in each day and working uh, 10 hours for like a month, it's e for a month each day. That's not something that's healthy or that's not something that you can keep up uh, or I can keep up. Maybe there is uh, a demigod out there who can do that. Uh, and uh, But for me, social life is <laughs> too important to, to do this again. So in the next project, I will definitely keep an eye on this particular issue. Um, and I also did, uh, yeah, I think these are the two main things, not to, you know, confuse myself too much, just learn one key thing each time. Um, and, um, you know, next time I'll definitely focus more, work less and, uh, you know, not rush the project. So this is basically the end of the process each time. <clears throat> just sit back, take a few days off after finishing uh, the project and just think through all the things, all the feelings that I had and pick uh, a ba uh, pick a project next time that you know fits fits the tastes a bit more or fits my personal life a bit more or you know just uh, juggle all the things that I learned and always add the new ball <laughs> and get that into the mix and keep keep an eye out for those mistakes as well uh, and I think that's a crucial uh, really really key and crucial thing for improvement and getting better as, a, as an artist or as in a pers as in a person in general. So, uh, yeah, it's been a long, long tutorial series. I talked a lot. I barfed a lot. Um, there were some cursing and hidden secrets in the videos. I really did my best for you guys, um, or I tried to bring out the best that I can, and share the knowledge uh, that I've learned over the years so far. Uh, I'm not sure when I will going to make a next video, but I really hope uh, that it's beneficial for someone and that you learned and that you can pursue your passion and find find your uh, uh, own place in this art art thing and um, have fun and get uh, money at the same time from it. So that's like an ideal place to be. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed and as of course you can this is the final stuff the 3d version the gif uh, and of course the gumroad thing uh, you can download the model uh, donate whatever you want so uh, see you guys uh, next time